Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Francois Dane before the 2022 Hard Rock 100. How are you, Francois? Fine, and you? I'm well. Are you uh, happy to be back here in the San Juan Mountains? Exactly, same place as last year, and uh, yeah, very quiet and nice, and so happy to to see this mountain again. So yeah, yeah. Just like last year, you arrived early enough to to run a lot in the mountains here. Have you covered more or less the whole course? Yes, this year I think it was uh, nearly the same, except we spent two days in Boulder to meet a bit uh, more like American runner in the community, and then we arrived just two days later, but uh, we started uh, directly our training, so I have a big, big week last week, and now uh, I have to rest until the, yeah. the day. How did um, your training go here? It was uh, very nice. Uh, feeling was a uh, feeling was okay. I was a bit tired when I arrived, but now I, I feel I feel more confident and ready. And uh, <laughs> yes, it was even more green and the way is different. So I try to to train a bit on the other way. Okay. And yeah, the ascent are a bit different. They are a bit more steep, and the descent are more runnable. So I think it will change a bit uh, the race. Do you, Do you think so, that? plays to your strength or is that maybe more of a challenge for you which do you like i think uh, everybody says it's uh, faster in, on that way uh, because uh, there's some long forest road to the to dawn yeah um and yeah i think even for me i think it could be maybe more on my advantage because uh yeah i think uh, if i have to compare to the other competitor i think uh yes it's it's more it's more easier for me to to keep the pace on a steep do, steep uphill and long down it is more easier for me so I think it's uh, it's so okay for me. Could your good direction? Well, um, so far this season you've run you've won Volvic, uh, 115 or more or less kilometers. Yes, yeah. Like that, yes. Uh, and how has your training gone this season? Do you feel the whole after ski season? Yeah, how's it gone? I have a big winter <laughs> like mm-hmm. like last year, and then uh, yes, I. I tried to to have a test race like last year, but uh, last year was in Cabo Verde, but yeah. it was just directly after winter and mm-hmm. we used the virus and it was not a good test. Also very uh, hot. Also very hot, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I think it's more uh, my uh, immunity was not very okay. well. And this year in Volvic, it was, uh, it was okay. I chose that race uh, because of, of his values and because uh, too, because it's a, it's a very runnable run- one. Yeah. And I, I need that because where I train, it's always like mountaineering and slow pace. So I, that's why I, cho- I choose yeah. that race. And it was, a, yes, it was a good test for me. I was able to, to have a good pace during yeah. uh, nearly 10 hours. So, so it's interesting to hear you say that. I mean, I think for a lot of people who are drawn to a race like Hard Rock, it's n- no problem to get enough climbing and descending in your training because that's what you love to do. Do you find you have to very strategically choose runnable races or runnable training runs to prepare? No, I have, yeah, it's it's true that yeah, it's more about hiking and everything. But you have you have to be able to run mm-hmm. and, and even more in that in that way. Mm-hmm. So that's why I chose that race, and then I, I know that I just have to go back on my mountain to train. This is what I like and yeah. what I, I know how to do. And even here, I know I know that uh, yes, I can I can have a lot of climbing, yeah. so it's good. So speaking of training around home, have you had a new training partner this year? Yeah, exactly. I have a I have a I have one of the best partner <laughs> I think yes, and no, I'm so I'm so happy, and I think uh, Jim too. Uh, that we can train a bit together and but he arrived in June and for me June was a bit uh, complicated I have many things with uh, our event and everything to plan and uh, so I think when I will come back I, I hope I can train a bit with him before his next attempt and uh, next victory at UTMB yeah so you yeah for those who don't know Jim Walmsley has moved over to France for the yeah. for the summer to train for UTMB and he's in your town How, is yeah he- he's uh, <laughs> my house is like 200 meters to his house, so it's not so, so far. Yeah, and, and you, I mean, he paced you here last year. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. going to be a disadvantage, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your, your primary. Yeah, it's, it's a bit sad that he's not able to be there, but uh, yeah. when I was there in 2019, I met some friends uh, with him. Yeah. Uh, they would pace me uh, this year, and Wiki Gage will be there too, and I think all the community is, <laughs> is so nice, and even, uh, even if we are like competitors with Dakota and Kian, I think we more than competitors we are more happy to run together yeah i was year. gonna say like you've known both of them very long and i mean you own the you know, the course record in the, the yeah. counterclockwise direction killian still has it in the the clockwise direction obviously 
the two strongest probably performances in the race's history. How do you how do you see that? Well, I've, I've um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that Kian don't really care about his time, yeah. and me too, about because last year was a magical year, and mm -hmm. we don't we never know what's gonna happen on Ultra. But uh, yeah, we are we are so happy I think to to meet again and Dakota is I think very very well trained, mm -hmm. so I think uh, yes I hope we can have a, a good time together and one long time together because I, yeah. we will enjoy it and the first part is very nice and wild, so I think it could be very interesting to mm -hmm. I hope we so, can. So how do you balance that? Because you're you know you're here to perform to some degree, yeah, and but also they're your friends and you enjoy being in the mountains with them. How do you? How do you decide? Yeah, but you I know, think the performance would be even better if we can if we can run together. Uh, if you are alone, the performance won't be won't be as good. I think, yeah. and I think yes, we we can have fun because uh, in ultra pace is not so so high, so you can discuss, you can joke, and everything. Yeah. And and at the final, it's always uh, the more fresh and all the more yeah. well prepared we will win. So. It, it's not like it's not like not, a, you're total, not it's not to the friends or golden trade series <laughs> you know it's a you you don't that yeah. pity each other like that it's a it's a long way it's 24 hours so you have time to, to yeah. make the final decision and, i mean both you and killian have raced before at 100 miles you yeah, yeah. you raced utmb together and, and I, if I remember correctly you were together for yeah. a good long time in 2017 yes how right. do you how in a race like that do you does one person, in this case you, go ahead? When do you say goodbye or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's exactly like that. It's uh, like with Jim last year. I'd say, okay, I feel I, I don't feel so good. Maybe uh, I have to reduce a bit my space, or you can go or something like that. And it's always about discussion. Uh, it's really, always, it's, it's not. Always nice. It's not like you just nice no, so sprint okay, away. <laughs> I try to sprint, and I no, it's not. It's, with me, it's never like no, that. No, no. Yeah. It's, it's interesting for people, I think, to, yeah, yeah. to hear how that. Yeah, because everybody and all the all the French media and all the many media say, okay, it would be the the best competition and the big match. And uh, I say, yes, if you want, but it's not really like a match uh, like you like you mean. Uh, it's uh, you would rather have it's more, it's more cool. Yeah, yeah. If you and Killian or Dakota, any two or three of you run together for a long time, whoever has the best day, you're you're happy if yes. Killian runs twenty one hours for and sure. beats you. And I, I, I'm I'm really happy if I finish second, if I finish, even if I finish five. Yeah. I just want to have a good day and to have at least the same yeah. pleasure as last year. And I I think in those other ways, exactly the same for Dakota and Kian. And if they, if they are well prepared that day and they can win, or if I can win, I think we will be so happy for, for the winner and we will be so happy if we can yeah. all finish in, in good pace. Now, that brings another sort of big question. You've won hard rock you won utmb you won diagonal de foo many times like what do you have left to prove to yourself and others like why are you out here you could be out here just enjoying the mountains yes. but why are you out here to i mean yeah, go fast enjoy. in the mountains <laughs> <laughs> no i, I yes is that week i i really enjoy to be in the mountain and yeah. take time for that take time to train for that take time to take care of myself to listen to my feelings and this past week was very nice for that yeah. because uh at home you have ton of things to do and the family and the kids and job yeah. and everything so yeah last week I, I really enjoy that and i feel really like rest now mm -hmm. and and good and yeah that's why i, I choose ultra it's i i don't look like i i don't feel like it's competition and just too mm -hmm. much pace it's just about uh, adapt yourself and yes you push but uh, for me it's just uh the good way to be in the mountain and the pace is okay for me to enjoy and to see the landscape and yeah. to discuss and that's why i choose that discipline and that's why I, I don't compete on shorter distance but then why do you push yourself i guess is the question like why why try to try to, try to have the top level when you could run like this and 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 still enjoy the mountains yeah that's but a... uh no it's i think it's 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 important to feel your body uh, like breath as as it can and yeah. as it can and um and even in the descent, if you can play a bit with the mountain and on the flat, and and yes, you are really happy to say, okay, that that mountain is, is that far, and I will go there in one hour and a half. It's yeah. just amazing, and yes, it's it's a good way for me. Like so yeah. when I did the GR20, I can I can do it in 12 days, but uh, finally I did it in 31 hours. Yeah, and it's not the same feeling, and yes, it's, I think ultra it's, it's a good yeah. pace for me and. Uh, yeah, for sure. I won't 
I won't do 10 hard work. I won't do 10 UTMB or yeah. 20 diagonal defu. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was really happy to come back this year, and I, I hope I will have a good year. And uh, I I just hope for so many next challenge, and there's yeah. a lot of race in the world. I'd like to travel and discover some other yeah. mountains. So but I think I have some other goals for the next yeah. few years. But it sounds then like, yeah, you do enjoy being in the mountains, but you, you also have either some amazement of yourself or some pride. Like when you do have a good day, whatever that is, you feel that and it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 But even last year, I, I had a really good day. Finally, if I yeah. look at the hard work, but during that day, I, I was already judging some better feelings or why, why I can not run, why I'm just working yeah. there. And so maybe in one hour it will be better. So just think why about altitude, about uh, if it's dry or if it's humid, about uh, your health or the jet lag or the nutrition. Yeah. You always search something, and I think this is what is interesting for me in so, that discipline. It's just yeah. it's not two or three hours. You have twenty four hours yeah. to change something, to adapt. Yeah. To you're you're not only exploring the landscape, you're exploring yeah. yourself. Yes, really, exactly. in your head, your yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so you did run Hard Rock last year, and you trained for it. Is there anything that you can that you have learned and can improve upon? Uh, I think about the nutrition. Yes, I yeah. have some surprises last year, and yes, I have to convince myself that uh, you can not run like in the, <coughs> in the Alps, sorry, yeah, because it's so high. So yes, I think you start even more humble than yeah. last year. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoy your exploration out there, and good Thank luck. Thank you very much.